Let's see, I can just get back to the car and take off my pants and just drive back without pants. So I'm heading out to film this video with the Insta360 SMO, this little naked GoPro camera style thing. And I'm like, eh, there won't really be a story. I'm just gonna go hit a few spots and talk about the camera and use that to do things. So I didn't bring a camera. I wasn't gonna even do any talking head stuff. I was just gonna fly. But then, <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous out here. So I guess I've gotta do a little bit with this camera or this is just my phone. So I apologize for the quality of this, but it's cracking me up because it's just so nice out. <laughs> I wasn't really planning on even getting out of the car hardly, but I can't park over here. And when I drove by, I saw this. How beautiful is that? I've got to fly around in there. I would crash it right away. Whew, that was sketch. I don't want to go get it in there. <laughs> I bet you some water got on it. So now I gotta go get it. I definitely don't have the right shoes for this. Ugh. I'm stuck in a thorn bush. <laughs> Give me that back. Oh, it was so much closer over there. Jeez. I just went through all that for nothing. Oh, hey, bud. What'd you do? Well, that's not good, but we got it. Well, that could have certainly been more productive. It got wet, so I'm gonna try to dry it off in the car and then hopefully we'll still get a flight or two out of it, but <laughs> it's already starting to get dark. All right, we've been drying for a few minutes. Let's give it a shot. That seems pretty reasonable.
huge mistake. Found myself a scraggle branch where I didn't think there was gonna be a scraggle branch. Oh my god. I have no idea how deep this is here. Like it's shallow here, but out there. That's the branch I hit right there. I mean, do I just go for it? Problem is I'm here by myself and I don't have a change of clothes really. I don't I don't mind getting in, but it seems like a bad idea to go by myself, to jump into a frozen river. I don't think it's that deep. I think it's weightable. I just want that card back. Let's see, I can just get back to the car and take off my pants and just drive back without pants. We got an extra jacket and a sweatshirt. Yeah. All right, let's go for it. Oh, it's quite deep. No trip. Dude, if I just tripped and fell in right now, after all that. Oh! Yes! 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 Oh, that could have been disastrous. Everything was still on when I picked it up. Whew. Okay, let's get back to the car. This is cold. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, we're good. Keep moving. Legs moving, legs moving. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. I knew exactly what was gonna happen too, and I was okay with it. But burr. Okay, okay. All right, we got a blanket. Perfect. Oh, put these up. Okay, as soon as these next couple cars come by, we're going for the pants. Okay, here we go. I'm in the middle of a public street taking off my pants. Whew. Oh my gosh, I hope Rachel's awake when I get home and I just like come in without pants on. Okay, everybody, nothing to see here. Just no pants, it's all good. And safety. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, we didn't die. And my feet are warming up now. <laughs> uh, this is this is a review video, guys, remember. <laughs> Alright, let's get home. I wonder if that clip even saved. Alright, enough of that shenanigans, now for a real review. This is the Beta FBV slash Insta360 SMO4K. It takes everything that's great about the Insta360 products, especially the 1R line, and combines it into a naked GoPro sort of format. It's technically a Beta FPV product, but it's powered by the Insta360 brand, including their flow state, their camera sensors and all of that stuff. The camera by itself, designed to not use a battery, weighs 30 grams and is this great little credit card sized camera that you can use for ultralight drones especially, cine whoops or long range or ultralight long range. Inside the box you've got the camera itself which has the, the Insta360 4K sensor and pretty much nothing else on it. The, there's a power button, a record button, and a plug here which is a 2 to 6S input plug that allows you to power this camera off of any drone flight battery, which is extremely powerful for any kind of recording that you would want to do. And then finally included on the side here is a micro SD card slot 
kind of hard to see in there, but it's down in there. And then there's a little arm that covers over top of it, though on my version this is already starting to wear out pretty good. Big old sensor block, plug, a micro SD card, and then two buttons. Also included in the package is a secondary case. This one is the one that actually came on it when I received it first. Um, it's got this extra little nub here so that you can mount it to a drone. The Insta360 has released all of the STLs to be able to print your own mount for this, to use it like that. I just wanted it without the nub because I have some GoPro mounts that I can slide this into and I'll lock in like that. And then in addition to the two different face plates, you've got a UV filter that basically can be used as a lens protector on top of the existing plate. And then there is a ND, oops, an ND16 that you can also use to eliminate some jello and uh, stop down your footage to the appropriate value of exposure. This is dirty because it's used, not because it came like that. <laughs> and then finally in the box, you get a screwdriver with the unique, I think it's a Torx head to be able to get in here and change out the cases and then your own full cable uh, to be able to power the camera and then also control the start stop feature that you can connect to Betaflight. And that's all that comes in the box. It's a really nice simple package. I have been leaving the ND filter on, not the not the ND filter, the, the UV filter, so that no damage happens to that lens. And then I've been running it on the Explorer LR Hex Edition, and I just slip it into this little GoPro mount that Flywoo has designed. Fits perfectly, and then the Flywoo Explorer has a plug designed just for this camera. So you can see that it's just powering that camera right there. If I use the other plug, I would be able to start and stop recording on this camera with a switch on the controller. But this plug was installed on the on the bird already, so I just didn't bother. With the drone powered up, you just hit this button here to power on the camera and then this button to record. And you can choose from a whole bunch of different settings that are controllable via the app. But that includes a uh, you know 4k 30 60 24 tons of different options hyperlapse hyper smooth all of the standard insta 360 options that are available for their cameras one downside to this type of camera obviously is that there's no screen there's a tell light here to see that you're recording so you can tell that the the camera is on and it is recording uh, but you cannot see any settings or any information about like what it is actually going to be recording unless you have it connected to your phone so that can be a little bit annoying obviously it's part of the um, the process for using these type of like micro stripped down cameras but it's uh, something to keep in mind when you're uh, setting up and, and using it. The first time I shot with it, there were a couple settings set on it that I didn't want, um, and so it kind of ruined the, like the first couple shots, just because it was like 4K 30, 60, which I don't usually shoot 60 FPS, and then there was like a vivid color profile that I didn't like the look of very much, so it just kind of took a little bit to get it all dialed in, but once I found those settings, I really like it. In order to connect it to your phone, power on the camera, go into your phone, there will be a Wi-Fi network for the camera itself, click on that Wi-Fi network type 888 8 there should be 8 total 8s, um, and that will allow you to use the Insta360 app to connect to the <clears throat> camera and change all the settings, format the card, all those good things. Um, but yeah, I've really liked the footage that I'm seeing out of it. You just saw a whole video of me taking it out, playing with it, figuring it out uh, after it went into the drink. Um, it is no longer currently working, unfortunately, um, so I can't power it on to show you the rest of the settings. I got them all dialed in before I went filming, and then I dumped it in the lake. Um, yeah, obviously there's no protection against the elements with that, unfortunately. Um, I learned my lesson the hard way on that one. Um, <laughs> I'm not a smart man. But uh, yeah, so that's everything that there is to learn about the SMO. I really, really like this thing. It's awesome how lightweight it is, especially combined with ultralight drones like this. Because uh, it just sticks in here. Yep. And it weighs, n I mean, relatively nothing. 30 grams is no weight at all. And you can power it off the flight battery, so it will run pretty much indefinitely. I mean, as long as you have battery in your, in your flight battery. And... Uh, the picture that you get out of it is great, especially with the flow state turned on. Flow state looks so good on this. Um, I just, I love, I love the look and feel uh, of flow state in general and uh, combining it on this bird. 
is is a great combination. So I hope that you learned a little bit about the uh, Beta FPV slash Insta360 SMO. Uh, it's a bummer that mine's not working, but that's totally my fault. It has nothing to do with the camera or any of that. Um, I just totally messed up and crashed into the water. But uh, yeah, I hope that if you choose to buy something like this, please check out the links in the description below. Um, it helps to support the channel. And as always, subscribe to find out more about cool products like this that are coming out. It's really sweet to see the kind of naked mentality be embraced here and uh, continue to, to be developed for uh, us to be able to get better and cooler shots. So thanks very much for checking this out and stay flying.